Example of equivalence of functional dependency. How can we calculate the functional dependency and in which case it actually falls? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about an example of equivalence of functional dependency. So there is an example A is relation R, relation R is there, relations are basically tables in uh, relational database management system which is having A, C, D, E, H is having two functional dependencies set that is F and G which are shown here. The functional dependency in set F having this particular set that is A to C, A C to D, E also gets to A and D and E also gets to H. Similarly there is set G also which is having A to C, D and E to A and H respectively. Now you have to check that which of the following holds actually true. Option A or second or third or fourth that is G is subset and covers F or F covers G or F is equals to G or all of the above. So now we are firstly determining whether F is a cover of G or not which means we are checking for the option second that whether it is correct or not. F covers G or not. So step one which we have already studied we would calculate the closure. So in A closure we can see that through A we can derive C through A a can also be simply derived and through A we can also derive D. So these all clumps in the closure set. Closure of left side of A is C D using the set G. So similarly A and C D are the elements which come in the closure set of A. This is the uh, denotion of closure set with the plus sign above the A. Similarly for E closure if we want to calculate then through E we can derive A. Here we can see that A and D are derived. Now through E we can also derive if A has been derived then through A we can also derive C. So similarly C comes in the closure set of E. Similarly H can be also derived here you can see that. So when we are checking for the F A covers G or not then we check the left side of A that which elements it is covering from G side. So we can see that E plus that is A, C, D and E and H are the closure sets of E plus. So these are two things which are done. Similarly now we compare the results from step 1 and step 2 then we can find the results are same. In the step 3 we compare both the results of the closure set. So now the functional dependency of set we can of set F can determine all the attributes which have been determined by the functional dependency of set G which concludes that F covers G that means this, this option is definitely correct but we have to check for others also that whether G covers F or not. So when we do that for step 1 what we do we now calculate the set G things. So what are those we calculate from this side. So when we check that in A closure set there is definitely A, C and D the closure of left side of A and C using set F. For C now we use the set F when we are finding the cover of G. Similarly for A, C we can check that it is also A, C and D and for E closure we can see that it is A, C, D, E and H. How? Closure side, closure of the left side of E, here you can see that left side of E is A and H and A and H are also being used in set F also. So we can check A and H using the set F also. Now when we compare the result both are same, step 1 and step 2 results are same which means that G, F covers G also. So what is being done over here G covers F and F covers G so both the steps are both the steps are same the result of the closure set is same so we can say that F covers G and similarly G covers F now we have to check that both cover each other or not so from step 1 we conclude that F covers G from step 2 we have concluded that G covers F which means both the elements are having same cover set same closure set so we can say that F and G cover each other which means F is equals to G that means this option 4 is correct for other examples you can refer to the tutorial thank you